Hello, this is a solo panel discussion for the CRTC's Let's Talk TV campaign. I'm the head of a group named Save Our Canadian Shows, and the objective of my group is to bring Canadian reality shows and game shows to Canada. So first I'm going to discuss the uh, current issues, and um, the main issue is that Canada, unlike the rest of the first world, has a lack of Canadian reality shows and game shows. We do not have our own shows that allow Canadians to participate. So while every other first world country like the United States, United Kingdom, Italy, Brazil, Australia, they have their own versions of shows like Got Talent, X Factor, The Voice, Deal or No Deal. Here in English speaking Canada, we have nothing. And I'm not referring to Quebec, they have their own version of The Voice and Deal or No Deal right now. I'm talking about the majority of Canada being English-speaking Canada. Here in Canada, we have nothing. Everyone else has these shows, but we have nothing. Not only is this not fair, but it is a disgusting insult to our culture. So my objective is to change that. I want to bring these shows to Canada, and I want to have Canadians be able to participate in these shows, just like the rest of the world is able to participate in these shows. Canada is supposedly a land of equal opportunity, and not having these shows is not equal opportunity. We are entitled to our own culture, and not having our own shows is not Canadian culture. We deserve to have our own culture. Now, some people may say, well, some of these shows got cancelled because of ratings. However, allow me to remind you that there are several, several reality shows that have once been cancelled but they were brought back and I'll give a perfect example take X Factor Australia that show was cancelled back in 2005 but it was brought back five years later and now it's one of the most popular shows in Australian television also take New Zealand's Got Talent cancelled in 2008 brought back four years later in 2012 and it's back in 2013 as well now for our shows there is no reason why the networks can't uncancel these shows. There's no reason why they can't bring them back. Because if many other countries brought back cancelled versions of their shows, then Canada too should bring back cancelled reality shows and game shows. And not only that, but there are several countries that air American versions of reality shows and game shows, as well as their own versions of those shows. So that is proof that we too can have both an international version of a show and a local version of a show. Right now, it's time for a solution. It's 2014, and there is no reason why we should still be left out from having our own versions of these shows. This part of the discussion is going to talk about solutions on what we can do to solve this. So the first thing that I want to say is that the CRTC needs to step in. It's 2014. There is no reason why this issue should still be going on. It is time for a solution. It is time for us to gain equal opportunities like the rest of the first world. There is no reason for Canada to be left out. The CRTC right now is saying that they can't do anything because it's not their policy. Well, change your policy! I mean, seriously, if it's not your policy, update your policy. Make some rules that will ensure that Canadian television networks will have Canadian versions of game shows and reality shows. The CRTC can't say we can't tell the networks what to air and what not to air. The CRTC needs to ensure that we are getting the equal opportunities we deserve. And like I said earlier, if they have to cancel a show, then they should at least, at least rest it and bring it back a few years later, like what most countries do with their shows when they have to cancel it for a few years. The CRTC needs to mandate equal opportunities, because like I said, Canada is supposedly a country of equal opportunities, and if we don't have our own versions of these shows where we can participate in them, then that is not equal opportunity. So, um, another solution is that the CRTC can ban reality shows and game shows that do not allow Canadians to participate unless the channel airs a version that does allow Canadians to participate. 
Another solution is that when the Canadian networks are buying international reality shows and game shows from other networks like Fox and NBC, the Canadian networks can make an agreement that they will only buy those shows if the international networks allow Canadians to audition. So then that would force the international networks to allow Canadians to audition for their shows. NBC would be forced to allow Canadians to audition for Deal or No Deal and America's Got Talent. Fox would be forced to allow Canadians to audition for X Factor, So You Think You Can Dance, and Idol. Sounds fair to me. If we're not going to have our own Canadian versions of these shows, then the U.S. network shall allow Canadians to audition for their shows. So this concludes my discussion on the lack of reality shows and game shows in Canada. To recap, Canada has a lack of reality shows and game shows like the rest of the first world. It's not fair for Canadians. It's not fair we don't have our own culture. It's not fair we don't have equal opportunities like the rest of the first world. The CRTC needs to step in and find a solution. I gave a lot of ideas for what the CRTC can do, and I gave a lot of ideas on what the networks can do. There is no reason why we cannot have these opportunities in Canada, because Canada is supposedly a land of equal opportunities. Without having our own shows where Canadians can participate in them, that is not equal opportunities. And for those who agree with me that we deserve to have our own equal opportunities, please sign the petition that's in the link below. Um, and the uh, short URL on how to get to the petition is tinyurl.com slash Canadian Shows. That's tinyurl.com slash Canadian Shows. Or you can click on the petition that's in the link below. Thank you for listening.